The story of the Friesenhof family in Brodzany began in the 40s of the 19th century and lasted for till the end of the Second World War. Najstaršia časť Brodzianského kaštieľa pochádza z 15. storočia. Šľachtická rodina Kvášajovcov prebudovala pôvodnú kamennú kúriu na renesančný kaštiel a neskôr okolo neho vybudovala anglický park. Baron Gustav Friesenhof, Austrian diplomat, bol Brodzany estate in the 40s of the 19th century. Gustav Friesenhof got married twice and both of his wives, Russian aristocrats, had family ties with Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin. The first one, Natalia Ivanovna, was a close kin to Pushkin's mother-in-law. The second, Alexandra Nikolaevna, was Pushkin's sister-in-law. Alexandra's noble friends and family from Russia would visit the Friesenhofs regularly in Brodzany. Thus, Brodzany became a small Russian island in Slovakia. Tento album patril druhej žene barona Frizenhofa Alexandre Nikolajevne Gončarovej. Iba v ňom nájdeme podobu štyroch puškinových detí vo veku od 15 do 20 rokov. Básnikové deti i s matkou niekoľkokrát navštívili Brodzany. Gustav's first wife, Natalia Ivanovna, lived with her parents in Italy for several years. Her herbariums are unique as each flower composition is related to a specific location and people whom she met there. These albums of drawings and paintings are connected to Alexander's Italian experience as well. They are the works of significant Italian and Russian artists of the first half of the 19th century. Numerous occasions and sites are both mentioned in herbariums and albums. For example, in 1830 Natalia Ivanovna met Gustav Friesenhof for the first time in Rome and they visited the Colosseum together. Natalia Ivanovna Frizenhov bola blízkou priateľkou básnika Vasilia Žukovského, ktorý jej daroval album Krezieb a do pamätníka jej napísal báse, motýľok i cvety. Gregor was the only son of Gustav Frizenhov. He kept in touch with representatives of the Slovak national movement, became a member of Matica Slovenska and even donated 16 golden ducats to support building of the first seat in Martin. He established a chronomial society in Nitra Woli and the first meteorological observatory in Austro-Hungarian Empire. Gregor published his weather forecasts in several periodicals and his private meteorological magazine. He was the founder of meteorological research in Central Europe. The daughter Natalia comes from the second marriage of Baron Friesenhof. She married a German duke Elimar Oldenburg, a grandson of the Swedish king Gustav Adolf IV. Po jeho predčasnej smrti sa Natalia natrvalo usadila v Brodzanoch, milovala umenie a na svojom pánstve hostila viacerých európskych umelcov. Založila tu nemocnicu, školu, útulok pre handicapovaných ľudí a síroty. Ešte spolu s Elimarom vybudovali v Brodzanoch škrobáreň. Just before his death, Elimar had a chapel with a crypt erected at their estate. All the relatives are buried there. Nearby, Natalia added an elaborate stone summer house where she would dedicate her time to the art. Frederica, the daughter of the Oldenburgs, died young. The son Alexander lived abroad and had four children. One of his sons, Anton Belsburg, got involved in the attempt of Hitler assassination and was executed afterwards. The firstborn son Georg inherited the Brodzany estate after his grandmother Natalia Oldenburg's death. After the war, the estate was confiscated by the government. The Friesenhofs had close connections with Pushkin, as well as German and Austrian cultural environment. The family ties with the poet saved the manor house threatened to be destroyed after the war. In 1979, the estate was turned into the Literature Museum of Alexander Sergeyevich Pushkin. Other stories and testimonies of the distinctive family are preserved by the Slovak National Library, which has managed the museum in Brodzany since 2000.